In this video, we'll show you how to annotate objects using CVAT with a skeleton shape. Let's create a new task, specify its name, and configure a new skeleton by pressing the Setup Skeleton button in the Labels section. Then, specify a label name for the skeleton. As well as adding labels, here we can change the color for the skeleton label or change other attributes for it. For convenience, let's attach a background image so we can more precisely attach the points. Let's begin creating our skeleton template by left-clicking on areas where we expect to annotate a point. This template will be used later in our task. Each created point has additional settings as well. Hover over the first point, then right-click on it and select Configure to see them. Here we can name a specific point, change its color, or configure other attributes if necessary. Let's configure the other shoulder point. Now we can connect the points between each other using lines. To do this, select the Lines icon on the left sidebar. Select our first shoulder joint by left-clicking on it, then click on the second one. You'll see a line between the two points, which means these two dots are now connected. Continue connecting the points in the expected skeleton shape. Then save the skeleton by pressing Continue. Here we need to select the video file we'll be finishing our annotation with and pressing Submit and Open. To draw a skeleton, we need to select the corresponding skeleton icon in the left sidebar. In our case, we'll be using interpolation to speed up our annotation. So let's select Track. Drag out our skeleton in the same way, like a bounding box. Besides box boundaries, a skeleton will include points as well. Once a skeleton is drawn, we can change its size, move it, and correct the location of each separate point. Let's adjust the points by moving them into the correct position. Let's move forward 10 frames and continue correcting points in the same way. In this way, we'll annotate 40 frames, but only manually adjust every 10th frame. Now, let's go back to the first frame of the video and check our results. As you can see, these results are quite good, and we only had to annotate every 10th frame, a huge time savings for data annotators everywhere.